Okay, so we're going to open up and show you what's in the ground that's spare. Comes in a carry bag. Here's the wheel. And there's the actual QR code you might have scanned, or if it comes through YouTube, you may not have. Put the wheel out. We've got a triangle, safety triangle. Let's open it up. Okay, we have the carry strap. We have the jack. Now, you may choose to keep the jack here or put it into the rear boot well, leave it in the rear boot well. We have wheel brace with the 21 mil socket attached. We have the ratchet or the jack. We have gloves. Keep your hands clean. A modified puck. It's much narrower than standard in case your car is lower. This makes it a lot easier to use. And that is it. Now we're actually going to fit this wheel to this car. Okay, so if you suspect you've got a punch out, you will see a yellow or a red picture of a tire up here. It's going to, if you click on it, you will see that it's going to bring up your tires, your tire pressures. So you'll see here which particular tire is, is causing the problem. Now what you need to do is put your hazards on and then basically find, uh, slow right down and find a safe place to, where you can change the tire. Preferably concrete or bitumen, you know, not in all cases. Whatever you do, don't do it on a uh, fast moving highway or freeway. Get off the road, even if, even if it means risking damaging the existing room. It's far safer to do it that way. And what you need to do once you pull up is press the park button. And if you hold it down, you'll find it'll go into park as well. So make sure that's done. Now let's change the wheel. So car is parked. You take the cover off. These covers will vary. This is the performance. So the wheel covers will vary depending on model. What we want to do before we jack the car up is break these wheel nuts. So you'll see the 21 mil will fit. So you place it on, extend, break the wheel nuts while the car is still on the ground. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to locate the hole for the puck, which is around about here. So we guide that down the hole is here, and we push the puck in, give it a little bit of a turn maybe, and the rubber will seat. That's ready to go. We now get the jack and place the jack up underneath there. Let's do that. Okay, so here is actually the front for the front right hand front wheel. I'm just showing you the locator hole at the front of the car as well matches the back it's actually lined up with about here you, you'll find it easy enough same thing applies screw the, the puck in and the jack goes underneath to lift it up okay that and then screw it up by hand which is what we do screw it up by hand as best you can make sure it's flush and level as mentioned you want to be on as level a surface as you can find and it may not always be the case but always best and there we go by hand you flick this and just watch it for the first couple make sure you're clear of the car don't scratch the car you can see that this has a bow on it make sure you put it on the right way and just go slow for the first few okay so the last bit I'm gonna take it up and just have a look underneath the wheel wheel's clear now what i will do is i'll go another 10 mil or 5 mil in case this is like very in the height of the wheels we are clear now and as you can see the jack is on everything is safe we've cracked the wheel nuts next part of the process we take the wheel nuts off change the wheel okay so we've taken all the wheel nuts off we support the wheel give it a bit of a turn Take it off cleanly, try not to scratch it. Now, you'll have a flat tire, so it won't roll like this. I'm just gonna show you size comparison between this. And you can see, we got a good height. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to 
fit the wheel on, but before we do, we'll just show you. There's a support, a disc support nut there, and that actually lines up these cavities, so it's not going to get in the way. The wheel is designed to work around that. So next step, wind it up. Same way you took it off, turn the holes. One, two, three. On she goes. So she's nice and firm. And then, by hand, simply screw the nuts up one at a time. Now, what you want to do here, keep the video running, what you want to do is get them all on. I'm going to show you the way to do this just to make sure the wheel is located flush onto the hub. So what we do is just pick one. Always use the bottom one because that's supporting the weight. By hand, give it a bit of a turn and then go to the top one, the opposing one. And then you're good to go for the rest. Now, what we are going to do is I'm going to give these a bit of a nip. Don't need to do it up correctly here. Just one, two, three, four, five. And the next step is we're going to lower it back down, put the weight back on the wheel, and then I'll show you, I'll retension the wheel. So, now you don't have to turn the ratchet back the other way. You can just simply click the button and the ratchet will work in the reverse direction. And just do exactly the reverse of what you do when you're winding the jack up. Now what we want is you want this jack completely out of the way. And there's something that we've got to make sure we do not forget to do, which happens a lot. And that is leaving the puck in. So take it out of the way. Before you forget, put your hand under and just give the puck a bit of a twist and a turn and it'll come off. Place that on there. Place it out of the way. Now Bruce can show the wheel. The wheel has got the weight of the car on it. The car is in park. I'm going to go around and tension it. Watch. One. Two. Three. Four, five, that's it. And we are done. Now the process is exactly the same for the front wheel. There is no difference at all. Wheel will definitely fit all of the models. You can see here, this is a performance. Bruce can show, even with the wheel weights. It's kind of tight, but it does fit. Good to go. Okay, so the wheel is fitted. This is a Model 3 performance. Now the calipers on the Model 3 performance are actually the same calipers that are fitted to the Model Y. And you can see here, this particular wheel is balanced and has weights on. And we're gonna move the car forward and show you what happens with the wheel weights. They actually do clear the calipers, even with the wheel weights on. So Bruce, if you can go forward. Slow, slow. You can see, keep going, keep going. All right, now go back a touch, Bruce. Just go back. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Stop. You can see, there's your clearance. It's tight, but does not hit the larger calipers. And as mentioned, these calipers are the same on Model 3 and Model, Model 3 Performance and Model Y use the same calipers. So there you go.